I love traveling, exploring new cities, learning their culture, savoring each bite of their cuisines. I enjoy every bit of it. But I must admit, at the end of the day, there's no place like home. The comfort and belongingness you feel at home beats even the most extravagant and exotic locations on earth. So for today's video, I'm going to be painting a house. Welcome back to yet another painting video with your artsy gal, Dyla from Homesthetics. I found this adorable house on Pinterest and couldn't wait to recreate it. So I'm going to be using this unique watercolor palette from Kurataki Gansai Tombi with 18 highly pigmented shades. As for the brush, I'm using this one from Raphael Kalinsky 8040. That said, let's start with a rough sketch. I recommend sketching very lightly, no need to get into details. I'm basically trying to maintain a rough idea of the entire composition. paint the base layer, starting from the roof and the walls of the house. As you can see, I'm painting very lightly at first. This is just to ensure I don't mess up anything. Next, I'm going to be painting the ground and the sky. Now, I'm keeping the sky rather simple because I want the house to be in the spotlight. So, I'm sticking to the same color palette and just making some shadows and highlights here and there. However, you can change things up by adding more clouds, birds, and maybe a rainbow. Or, you can even paint an evening sky. For the ground too, I'm sticking to one color, and I'm not going to be adding too many details. Now I'll wait for this layer to dry completely. Once that's done, let's add some detailing to the house.
First, I'll paint the roof tiles one by one with a thicker consistency. I'm making very thin strokes and thickening them as and when required. For the walls, I'm going to add some cracks and texture. Then comes my favorite part, painting bright red roses. Looks lovely, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. The house isn't complete without a door and windows now, is it?
once I'm done painting the window frames and the door, I'll just add a tiny bit of detail in here. And just a little more finishing touches to the sky, and we're done! tending these roses. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.